Alrighty guys, welcome back to Rune News. My name is Ryan Ryan and I just want to remind you guys there is a $250 reward out for you guys to make an intro for this Rune News series here on this channel. You can DM your submissions to me on Discord through my server at discord.gg slash bigdickenergy. I'll be the guy at the top or you can uh, directly send it to me at kingcondor hashtag whatever the numbers are down below. I don't know them at the time. There are only two requirements. Obviously don't make it too long and make it decent. And the second requirement is to not make it shit. If there is nothing decent and you guys don't send me anything good, I'm just gonna keep the money for myself and I'll go blow it on blackjack and hookers. And now that's all been said and done. Without further ado, Ju being the key word, I have one question for you guys to answer in the comment section down below. If you had one shot, one opportunity, one atomic bomb to drop on any town in old school RuneScape like it's Hiroshima 1945. Which town would you drop that bomb on? And I want to know why. Me personally, it'll probably just be Varrock just to keep it simple. I don't like that little Romeo cunt. He's a little bit of a cuck. Give me your answer down in the comment section down below which town you're bombing and why. And uh, enjoy the rest of the episode. I'm going to get into the news. This week is very light on the old school update, but I'm going to keep it short and sweet for you. Now uh, your max hits will be highlighted with a nice little yellow outline. So now you're going to know if you're dumping max hits on people. Pretty convenient. Obviously having a, um, a max hit calculator on RuneLight anyway, it's not really the, the best max hit calculator because it doesn't factor in things like crystal, salve amulets, slayer helmets, uh, magic damage bonus for your spells a lot of the time. So this is actually pretty lit and it's going to come in handy when you just want to Make sure you're dumping people as hard as you can, so pretty juicy update, zero complaints so far. Now for the second part of this update, it was a little bit difficult to read, I, I have zero interest in the clan hall, I'm a bit disappointed with this part of the game. They've added um, songs you can play on the piano like Sea Shanty 2 and uh, some other crap, and then you've got a, a cat you can talk to as well with the cat, cat's beak amulet. I think it'd be great if they added anvils. A furnace. They've got trees outside, I think, anyway, but some, somewhere you can cook. I think you can cook. I don't actually know. Uh, just ways to do more skills and just make it more inclusive for a clan hole. Combat dummies, even. You don't have to get XP. Just something you can smack. A boxing ring. Kind of like a player in house, but just something more, like, worth your time being in the clan hall. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's kind of just wasted dead content, and this update isn't really, uh... For me, personally, it's not really doing much. <coughs> now, the Poison Dynamite is something that was brought up in the past, and it's an item that they're discussing and going to try later in the future, uh, beta testing. It's essentially going to be something you're going to grab some Nightshade, and you're going to mix it with Dynamite, you're going to light the cunt on fire, and based on your fire-making level, you'll be doing damage and poisoning the target that you're trying to hit with it. The idea is that you can now uh, kill mobs in the game without gaining combat XP. It's mostly related for, like, um restricted accounts, people who are making snowflake accounts who don't want to gain certain XP in defense even, things like that. And maybe not defense, I don't actually know, but people that don't want to gain combat XP but want to progress through the game. It could be used, I'm assuming, on most bosses as well. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to throw it out there. I don't really know. We'll have to wait for the beta test. It's a cool idea, but it's not really something I'm going to fucking use. And most people that have a problem with this item are likely not going to use it or have the game, like, their game impacted by it anyway. So... I don't really see a downside to letting it being part of the game at the end of the day, but who gives a shit? <laughs> However, other changes is once again full of shit. I haven't actually read through the other changes this week. I'm just kind of glancing over at it now. And um, if there's something good, then sweet. But honestly, yeah, I didn't do my job this week with other changes. I just made the general assumption that like maybe we get what, four or five updates a month? There's normally one good week of other changes, and uh, I'm just going to assume this week is not that fucking week, so, eh. Oh, man, I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, why do you guys even watch this show half the time? Mm. Oh, fuck, that's good. And now, finally, for the old school update, you've got these different... I think the, the voting is closed now, and I've obviously not... I've done a terrible job at making you making it... Why is it like this? Why can't you see all four? It doesn't really matter to be honest because uh, A, option A and B are my two favorites. I didn't vote, I forgot. And this is the first time I've actually seen them. Um, I, I, I would probably pick option A, I think. But B is pretty sick too. So I'm not sure if you can still vote. And if you can, my vote's going to A. If not, then well, well done. And let me know what you... <laughs> voted for in the comment section down below as well. This is a mess, this fucking episode. But you know what? 
don't give a damn because it's time to let you guys know how dog shit RuneScape 3 is. The main thing to take away from this is I'm having fun making Rune News and making content in general on YouTube. I was criticized for having uh, shit production quality. I mean, it's a one man team here. I don't script anything, I just wing it. So, yes, that's the idea. But as long as you have fun watching it, guys, I'm gonna keep making the content. As for RuneScape 3, it's fucking dog shit. Edible fucking seaweed. The biggest rise of the week. Boys, are you fucking kidding? Are you, get the fuck. Are you, the edible seaweed as the biggest. Who the fuck is selling? Who's buying edible seaweed? Where? Where? What? What? It heals four, four fucking HP and what? It's from the Kraken. People are actually fucking selling and buying it. About at the start of the month, there was three thousand eight hundred of these being sold in a day. Who the fuck? Who is trading edible seaweed? Who? I need to know. You have to tell me, please. I, I want, I want to just, I want to just fill a pillowcase with dead batteries and beat you with it. Why? Who? And why? It's edible seaweed. The biggest loss isn't any fucking better with the cow quat fruit. Who the fuck is picking their cow quat fruit and keeping it? You just drop it on the floor? What are they? Oh wait, no, they're used for beer, aren't they? Okay. All right, no. Bigger question. Who the fuck is brewing beer in a uh, iron? Iron Man. No, it can't be Iron Who the fuck is brewing beer that's not an Iron Man? You can't be using this as... Oh, what the fuck is wrong with you guys this week? Raid 3 is coming out in three weeks, and you guys are fucking around with edible seaweed and cow quite fruit. Not a cold amulets. Not sang staffs. Not even fucking ancestral hats. At least the most traded item this week is the Zora Scales, and I can get behind this one. Now, this price has gone up because... Serp Helmet is gonna be fucking big in Raid 3. Mark my fucking words, at least that's how I feel about it here at the King Condor Network. We're gonna be wearing it as we're tanking through the fucking raid. Serp Helmet, Blowpipe, gonna be pretty big. And if you don't have a Sang Staff or a Harm Hold, you're probably gonna run the Swan Trident. Zora Scales are gonna be big and they're gonna stay out there for a while. So the higher Zora Scales are, the more fun and the more profitable Zora becomes. So. Zora is a better boss to farm than Vorkarf in every way except the GP to L, which doesn't really fucking matter. Make sure you guys start farming that Zora. Get yourself some unique drops and save up your scales and get ready for the fucking raid. Now the mole servers are unfortunately taking a hit. This is mostly because of the absence on this channel lately. We've been having issues with COVID-19 coming around for a second time and kicking me in the fucking nuts. Uh, but don't worry guys, we're back in full force, full steam ahead. We've got plenty of content coming out uh, this week and we've got some decent fucking, uh, uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but the next video series that's starting up or that's at least going to be continuing, you're going to fucking love it. I can guarantee that. So sit tight, mole slippers will be above one mil by the end of the year. Mark my fucking words. Now finally, the RuneScape girlfriend, we're going to keep it light and simple because Raid 3 is coming out. This is probably where we're going to be sitting for about a month now. We've got about a month before the girlfriend starts to come back up again. Do not trust e-girls, they will never love you back, that's a guarantee. fucking tea. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're trying to fuck with your adamant around here. So it's up to you guys for now if you want to keep her, sell her, or maybe make a deal with her and you can have two girlfriends on the go at the same time. Just don't trust them with your fucking adamant and uh, I'll let you guys know when the price is coming back up. Give it about three to four weeks before we start to see some sort of steady incline. But in the meantime, 7,000 GP is around the benchmark of where you're going to want to be sitting with your RuneScape girlfriends. That is it this week for the Grand Exchange update for Rune News. Don't ever let me catch edible seaweed or cow quat fucking fruit on here again. Or I will be snapping necks and cashing checks. It's your boy fucking Wade Green. And I'm a cunt. Our first Iron Man moment this week goes to an actual Iron Man. It's uh, on my group Iron Man team, my boy Anubis, or Anubear if you will, got 99 wood cutting, which is huge. This man is uh, absolutely sending it. He's going to be maxing in no time, I can guarantee it. Absolute fucking champion. Playing two and a half accounts at, at the same time just for the team when one guy's AFK. So uh, he, he goes fucking hard and 99 wood cutting. That's one of the most worst skills in the game, out of the way for him. Our second moment goes to, who, I can't remember this guy's name, but he got an imbued heart, good on him. It was from the, it looks like it's from the uh, Aberrant Spectres as well, which is pretty cool. Um, he, I, I can't remember his name, and it's kind of lucky that he cropped his screenshot like shit, because 
He was one of those guys that like blacks out the text in his chat box just so you can't see what's being said. In case you dox him, he might leak information. Like no one gives a fuck about what you're talking about or your username, but uh, good job on the imbued heart. Nice work, mate. Next up, your fucking boy got the young left pet. That's right. Gauntlet pet at, was it like 436 KC? I can't even. Fucking idiot. Four, 430, 438, 430 something KC. Point is, collection. Collection log is done for the young Youngleth, and I'm really happy about it. It's the second pet on the uh, on the group Iron Man account, and I fucking love it. I'm happy, so appreciate the GZs. And I put a video out about it too. If you want to see my insane reaction to it, it'll be um, probably in the post credits uh, of this uh, video. So make sure you go check that out and leave a like as well. And for our final Iron Man moment, my girl Tanya, no spec, she got her. Uh, she got a twisted kit and a dust um, drop in the same chest. She got disco lights, and she was also pretty much gun to my fucking head. Put this in Rune News, or fuck you. She's never going to talk to me again. So this is not here by my choice, but specifically she demanded this was here. Just want to put that out there as we wrap up the Rune News episode for the week. My name, ladies and gentlemen, is Ryan Ryan. Tanya, I hope you're happy with the feature. And uh, yeah, I'll be live streaming about 12 hours after this video comes out, so don't be a shit cunt and come by. Alright. Fuck off. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge!